I've always been gay. <laughs> always, always, always. When, yeah, I always had a very unique sense of self-confidence that I think I got from home. <laughs> Dollar Debbie is the fun, playful escape. <laughs> Debbie's always been there, omnipresent, as a facet of my personality. Well, Dollar Debbie emerged in about 2013, and she became a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> What you see is what you get. She's high glam. She's also very relatable. Um, everything, nothing is too much. She's very extra. There's a lot of her. <laughs> Dollar Debbie is a high tea, brunch, mimosas, wine farms, experience, travel. I can be Dollar Debbie anywhere. In Cape Town, I'm, I can be Dollar Debbie in my life. I'm socially, she has an excellent spirit of adventure. If I'm going out, it really doesn't matter. Just confident, confident and free. She's larger than life, but I'm also like <laughs> over six feet tall, I'm like six one. So um, in heels, there's, there's so much more of me, so you, you can't miss her. I think Dollar Debbie is an expression of just how safe I feel, and then for the most part, also how free I feel. Like it's, a, it's, a, it's an expression of freedom. So I don't think I'm specifically an LGBTQI activist, but I can be in the context. I think I'm an activist full stop. I strongly believe that expressions of individualism are strong political statements. I'm a feminist before anything else. There's a master plan for Debbie and Sipe Sitle at the same time, and that is quite cornily to find love one day. <laughs>